Hi, I'm Bethany. I'm from Bryan, and I'm a junior. Some scabs are left on my legs from some nights ago. The night you said you'd be there, but you weren't. Funny how scabs always start as something beneath the surface, like the hollow part of the seed where the living starts until the seed can no longer breathe and it breaks to the surface only to find that it's been planted in the worst conditions for its growth. Eventually, the seed will be left with a reminder that it cannot tempt curiosity that it will only be convinced that it has eyes and ears and probably fingertips too because suffocation is starting to sound like a tea party. I'll try to leave the scab alone, but when I'm lonely, it will never leave me and this is how it will become a scar. I wish that mosquito never would have bit me. I wish my heart had kept beating when you left me. Can't you tell that I'm empty? I'm barren enough now to be deemed a wasteland. My mouth, a desert, mocking me when I speak, catching pieces of insecurity in my teeth and dropping them back into the well of my chest. Maybe this is why the butterflies still fly up when I see you. They fly up but never out, never close enough to the surface to glimpse you, your majesty, to see why I keep coming back when moving forward would be so much easier, to see the dark ocean of your skin draping beautifully over rich nightfall, to see you become the sun and the moon and the stars, and they tell you you are glowing, you are, but you have left me so dim. You have left me so dim that my eyes snag on the wounds open nervously that night when I thought of you. And this is how my scabs become scars. Thank you.